Right, so Jackpot 1's underway, and uh, well done to the Paul Peter team, of course, to the Harper Payne Syndicate. Well done to everybody concerned, and uh, more importantly, uh, well done to young Jeffrey Seist, who's uh, given this one a peach of a ride. Well done, Jeff. Actually been a remarkable last uh, few days for you, and um, going through the last 150, 200 meters, you must have thought Calvin had you stone cold, but um, nice, uh, tenacious ride from you. Well played. Yes, definitely. He jumped out so well. He cleared the field very well, and when Calvin came past, I thought, okay, he just gave it a go and he fought on bravely, yeah. Well, it's good that you left uh, something le in the tank, obviously, to uh, fight him off. But um, you're doing really well at the moment. You're going into Christmas with a smile on your face and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I dedicate this one to my dad. It was his, it's his birthday today, so I'm glad I could get a winner for him. So you got to buy the present, right? <laughs> Definitely. Lovely stuff. Big thank you to Mr. Peter and to the Academy. Well done, Jeff. Well said. Short and sweet. Well done, Mr. Peter. I know that um, you haven't brought the strongest bunch to the race course today, but um, to go out with a winner like this, nothing wrong. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, uh, very well ridden by the youngster. Uh, he's got to know this horse, and he, he went exactly the right fractions. And uh, he was headed, and he came back. And I think the four kilos also helps a hell of a lot, because he's, he's not the biggest horse, this, and the top weight, I think, in the four kilos is a massive contribution to the win. And I think he's actually a smart horse on his day because I remember you rated him a little bit early on in his career, lost his way a little bit, but um, he can run on his day, this horse. Yes, he's no star, but he's a trier, and uh, that's all you need. Lovely stuff, Mr. Peter. Just uh, if I don't chat to you again, Merry Christmas from the Teletrack Tam family. I know that uh, you've been transparent with us. Uh, the, the viewers out there appreciate it, so enjoy it with the family. Yes, Merry Christmas to you and your family and the whole racing fraternity out there. All the best, and may next year be a really good one for everyone. And uh, well done to Dominic and his family on the sauce. They just love the sauce. And uh, to the stable down, uh, back home, they all worked hard. It's, uh, it's holiday time and it's tough. So well done to them all. Well done, Mr. Peter. Good to have you back in the winner's enclosure and uh, long may it continue. Thank you very much. Uh, and it's good to have my friend Rick lead the horse in with us. And he'll just say a few words on the horse. Well done. Well done. Well then, Uncle Rick, good to have you uh, out at the track this afternoon. And it's been a long time since I last saw you. I don't but get uh, you get to, to lead the them in. I, didn't, I don't come out to the vault too often. Go to turfies. Yes. So uh, anyway, well ridden by Jeffrey. Um, Pauly, outstanding. Up to the, the end of the year, outstanding season. Long may it continue. And that just shows you that hard work pays off. And good luck to the whole Peter family. I'm a staunch supporter of the stable. And to everyone out there, compliments of the season. And if you're on the roads, please be safe. And on behalf of Hyper Paint and, and the Peter family, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Couldn't have said it better. I think they need to uh, nominate you for leader. But uh, well played. Good <laughs> to have you in the winner's enclosure. Thanks very much. Lovely stuff. Thank well you. done, Uncle Rick. Well done to Uncle Paul. Well done to everybody concerned. A very good win over here. Number one American hustle has come through with uh, flying colours. Young Jeffrey Seister, tremendous ride because this horse was a beaten spent force going through the last 200 metres and how he's got him to find another breath. Uh, certainly remarkable. So well done to the youngster. Well done to everybody concerned. And uh, that opens up jackpot one this afternoon. Now, if you didn't like the look of it, I thought um, the law, maybe you want to go into the last race with some ammo. We've got jackpot two starting uh, in the very next race. That'll be race number six. And uh, I think there's one or two bank or one. Or, let's go slim. I'm not going to say bankers, but uh, let's go slim uh, towards the end. Uh, there seems to be some money for some uh, uh, nice horses, of course, from the Way of Mooring Stable and the Decock team. So we're looking forward to it. We're on Christmas Eve. I hope that we find you well have backing those winners. But um, overall, it's been a good day up until now. Twelve hundred meters to cover, and they're off. And they're off to a fair start. American Hustle, 008, both broke out well. How does it taste? And the white body is right up there as well. Then comes Hartog, Captain Curtius, and State Trooper tracks the inside group. Over towards the outside, we have Ravonia Boulevard, Rock of Africa, and the Orange Crown Guardian right there as well. Then comes Graduate and Boxcar, as per usual, patiently ridden towards the back of the field past the 800. And American Hustle goes quicker. Second place is 008. Then comes How Does It Taste? Crown Guardian, Yellow Jacket races in fourth. Then comes Hartog and Captain 
and courteous state trooper. White sleeves and gold cap has got about six lengths to make up. Then comes Rafonia Boulevard, graduate boxcar. As usual, kept quiet, 400 meters left to go. American Hustle still rolls in the lead with a two length advantage. In second place is 008. Then comes state trooper. How does it taste in the white is on the far side? Hartoch was further back. And then comes Rafonia Boulevard, but 008 went up to join American Hustle. 008 is powered into the lead. American Hustle tries to fight back. Then comes State Trooper. It's 008 in front. American Hustle won't go away. It's American Hustle. American Hustle has beaten 008. Then came State Trooper and Hartoch. Towards the back of the field, past the 800, and American Hustle goes quicker. Second place is 008, then comes How Does It Taste. Crown Guardian, Yellow Jacket races in fourth. Then comes Har Toch, and Captain Courteous, State Trooper. White Sleeves and Gold Calf has got about six lengths to make up. Then comes Rafonia Boulevard, Graduate Boxcar. As usual, kept quiet, 400 meters left to go. American Hustle still rolls in the lead with a two-length advantage. In second place is 008, then comes State Trooper. How Does It Taste, and the White is on the far side. Har Toch was further back. And then comes Ravonia Boulevard, but 008 went up to join American Hustle. 008 is powered into the lead. American Hustle tries to fight back. Then comes State Trooper. It's 008 in front. American Hustle won't go away. It's American Hustle. American Hustle has beaten 008. Then came State Trooper.